Put a ribbon on it, get you gift wrap. slash grappler, the team Sarah Longo rep, Murad Wallace Willie, one of several Georgian fighters that have emerged over the last several years, and you gotta think you're gonna get a takedown attempt here early in this round, DC. Murad doesn't make any bones about it. The opposition knows what's coming more often than not. They're unable to stop it. Oh, and there is another knee, and that has certainly been the primary weapon of choice for him here tonight. He has inflicted a ton of damage to his opponent, and a lot of it courtesy of those knees. Now he's bleeding from the mouth now. He cut there on his lip. That doesn't look very well. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. And now is where things could get really interesting. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Nice shot there by the Both fighters back to their feet now. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Lands to the body. Nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume two. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, nice hook. Oh, Malley going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Great job finding an opening and landing a beautiful punch from the clinch. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. Rips the body there. Oh, big elbow. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Beat this leg up. Well, you saw his reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing match up. Nice job by him defensively there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Take down attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Waning seconds here of this opening round. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle. Oh, God. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fight was really caught in a submission there, just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really picked it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. He missed with that jab attempt there. Plans a big elbow there. Huge uppercut. Well, we've been talking about the knees throughout this fight and the placement of them. Look at those numbers. I'm not sure how many more flush knees his opponent can take. He's really trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
Wallace Willie's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think that bodily investment is going to pay dividends later in the fight. Oh, nice elbow. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, he's gonna go to sleep. It's over. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Oh, he slipped the arm out. What an escape. He slipped his arm out, and now he lives to fight another day. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I love this. I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Ooh, the head kick lands. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot of time. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Oh, now he's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spin. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Oh, this could be it. That oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. You ready to fight? Ready. Round three of a possible five. Blanton right hand lands upstairs. And another one. Try to establish that jab. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Big double leg level change. Trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Who got to be turning on his elbow? And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Dallas Willie gets the double leg takedown now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Oh, he's going to try again. getting very close to the submission. Oh, submission defense holds up again. Oh, Malley gets back up here. Slip that one. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, Malley's strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up with a hip to try to move your opponent off you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Good fight here, under two to go. Oh, lands a nice straight. He 
be sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Dallas Willis now trying for the Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call his shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by chop out due to a Kimura. And new undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world. We have a new UFC bantamweight champion. This is a moment that every fighter dreams of, and he turns that dream into a reality here tonight. It is the moment that we all wait for, and when it happens, you are almost in shock that it comes to fruition. Tonight, he accomplishes his ultimate goal and becomes a UFC champion.